think what's interesting is that, um, like for example, a AT and T um, provided uh, drone coverage of Harvey, mm. and I think that that was actually really helpful because I think. How did that work? What did that um, mean, drone coverage? I think it was. Let's see. So it was. It was a small. It was a small bunch of drones. It was like 25 drones or something that came over Harvey area and actually was able to give um, uh, images, essentially, uh, ph photography images really close in to see exactly where they needed to deploy um, crews. So I N think that Nadia, was do you, uh, Nadia, do you want to, we have our resident drone expert here. Nadia? Uh, Nadia, do you want to say something about um, Drones and and and, and AT and T's contribution. Uh, you just know how to make me come. wax poetic. Bring up drones. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, so yeah, I talked to some folks because I, I did some of the initial work in in when I was at the foundry in Palo Alto on that. And uh, when they decided to deploy here, uh, the first thing they did, you know, like uh, Dr. Shaw was saying, you know, we kept the cell phone networks up for the the bulk of it for most of the people. Uh, but for some of the areas that were affected, I know they did uh, inspections of what was wrong, because if you can imagine, I mean, there's electricity up there. It's a dangerous situation. Uh, so it's much safer to send a drone up there to check out what's going on before you send a human. Um, so that was one of the bigger use cases.